Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Uh, thank you for stopping by for a visit today. I always enjoy visiting with you guys, and I'm happy that I'm able to be here to visit with you. And today I am drinking just some Louisiana sweet tea. And it is delish. Mm. So today, um, Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet, and I will link her below, but she asked me for a pattern for my toilet paper scarf. So um, I had made this back in 2020 when in honor of the toilet paper um, shortage that we were having. I made this toilet paper scarf. <laughs> I love doing that. Anyway, she had asked me for a pattern for it. I, I don't have a pattern wrote up. I would, if I could crochet right now, I would do a little tutorial on it. And I might do that later on. But um, I just thought I would come on and just talk you through what I did. So if anyone is wanting to make one for, you know, a gag gift or anything like that now, that they could go ahead and do it and not have to wait on me. So it looks like what I did is I chained about a 15, a chain of 15, and then I went, you know, skipped a three and went into the fourth and did a double crochet. So I just did double crochets. That made it, um, drapier if I had did single crochets I imagine it would be a lot stiffer but um and plus I probably wanted my I probably wanted it to go fast and my double crochets helped it grow faster than single crochets would have so that was probably my thinking at the time because that's my thinking right now so I just went in the fourth stitch and then double crochet to the end and then chain one and then I turn the work and I double crochet right back into that very first stitch. I don't skip a stitch and crochet into the second one because I don't chain three. I just chain one. And that helps give a cleaner edge and a more straight edge. So I did that for, what's it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven um, rows there. I think it's six, yeah, about six rows, and then for the perforated row, I just did a double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next, so I just did like a window type stitch, you know, so that gave it the perforated, and so I just repeated that all the way through, and whenever it was, um, after the perforated row, when I would start this row, I would just, um, <clears throat> I would crochet into the top of these stitches, but when it was a window, I just crocheted into the hole, the window. I didn't try to crochet into that chain. So that made it simple. And then, you know, you can crochet it as long as you like. You can certainly crochet it longer than this one. And then at the end, I just um, took some brown yarn to make it look like a toilet paper tube. I just took brown yarn, went in, and then I just started single crochets because I was hoping this would be a little stiffer. And I just single crocheted long enough until it... Um, looped back around and touched the other and kind of made a circle. So about the size of a toilet paper tube. And then I um, just stitched that together so that it was a complete circle on the end of that. And so when it rolls up, it just kind of looks like it's a toilet paper tube. <laughs> That was a fun make. I did this, you know, like I said, back in 2020 when they were out of toilet paper everywhere. Um, people were buying it and hoarding it up. And 
that made us, you know, have a shortage. And so that was my toilet paper, and I entered it into the fair this year and got first place on that. I entered it in the personal scarf category. Crochet personal scarf. And it was toilet paper. Oh, a crochet personal item, and I entered toilet paper scarf. That's what that means. So, yeah, that's what I did for that scarf. Um, anyway, that was a fun make. I enjoyed making that. And I will probably make this in the future again. And who knows, once I get to crocheting, I may do a little tutorial. And I may change that up. Who knows? But that was the idea of what I did. That was the... Um, the gist of what I did. You can change that up and, you know, do it a little different if you see fit. But anyway, Laura had asked me about it and I didn't have a pattern wrote up and I just don't feel like writing one up. And so I thought, um, you know, if I could crochet, I would just do a quick little tutorial. But since um, I'm not healed well enough to crochet at the moment, I thought I would just talk you guys through it. So, if she was wanting to make it for a purpose quickly, that she could go ahead and do that and not have to wait on me. Because <laughs> who knows when I would get around the stuff. But, yeah, I love that. And I just tried to make it long enough where it was, um, you know, not too long, but long enough for an adult. And it just makes it just a little bit interesting looking. <laughs> a little bit interesting looking. So, yeah, that was fun. If you guys make a toilet paper scarf, please tell me about it. Post a picture on Instagram and tag me in that. That would be fun to see if you guys make one. I'm going to wind this back up. But, yeah, um, you know, my way is not the only way. You can change that up. You could do half double crochets. You could do single crochets if you want to. I was just trying to make it um, um, have flexibility and not, you know, not too thick or whatever. Still, not too stiff. And plus, as I was making it, I wanted it to grow fast. And so that's why I used double crochet. But you can certainly change that up and use single or half double crochets or whatever to make it work for you. That's my motto. Always make patterns work for you. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. Keep in mind it is a beautiful day to crochet. It's raining here. So, yeah, that is a beautiful day to crochet. <laughs> I just wish that I could. If I could um, do that, I would be crocheting. <laughs> But anyway, guys, um, let me know what you're working on or what you've got plans for, what's going on in your family. I love reading that and just keeping up with, you know, what you're up to. Um, it's so interesting to know that, you know, what other people are doing. And I do not. Yes, I do have plans. I do have plans for tomorrow morning. I forgot about that. Um. We may go some more tomorrow morning and meet up with a YouTube friend who um, watches my channel. I've got to go um, figure out. I think it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. The rain is supposed to be coming in tonight, and it's supposed to rain and storm tomorrow. So I need to go check that out and figure it out and maybe touch base with her and find out if we are going to be able to meet up or not. Because that might not be a possibility. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, I hope you all enjoy your weekend, and we will be back soon. Big Daddy's going to help me do a mail haul video for Monday, and so we will record that Sunday night so he can help me do that. And um, I have some yarn haul videos coming up because I purchased some yarn with some gift cards and stuff before my finger surgery. 
and I just need to sit down and record those videos. And I'm excited about some of the yarn I got. I can't wait to start crocheting it up. And I have a, a box of something that was sent to me. And I want to show those items to you guys and let you know what's going on, what I'm doing with that, my plans and such. So, yeah, I have some videos coming up, even though I'm not crocheting some yarn and crochet content. I do have a couple more projects that I crocheted um, right up until the morning that I went into surgery that I finished up. And so I need to share those with you guys. So that'll be coming up soon, too. Um, I just need, I think I need Big Daddy to do those for me because it's something, two large things, and I'll need him to hold one. <laughs> but I'll be back, guys. I appreciate you all watching. See you again very soon. Bye, friends.